What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> so the day is finally here, finally we are going to do the interior cleaning part. <laughs> it has been a very long due. So as you can see, the interior is so dusty and dirty looking and even the seats, they have become a mess. Also the floor mats and also after doing all this cluster work, rest of the interior is starting to look bad. For most of the part, I am done with the interior mods. Let's go inside and talk about the stuff that we are going to need to clean the interior so we are inside now let's talk about the stuff that we are going to need first and the most important thing microfiber tiles next you need window cleaners to clean all the glasses leather cleaners if you don't have leather seats then all purpose cleaners so here i have this stb tough stuff so basically it's uh, all purpose cleaners so it cleans wood metal fabrics, leathers, reg uh, zines, fake leather. If you can't find that, you will easily find this Lysol all-purpose cleaner and it is very cheap as well. But one thing to keep in mind, this is a very concentrated formula so you need to dilute it in water and then use otherwise it can stain your plastic. After you've cleaned your seeds, your interior pieces, then you need to protect it. So for that, I am using this number one protectant and it's for uh, a lot of surfaces like rubber, vinyl, leather, plastic surfaces. Uh, one thing you might want to consider is a vacuum cleaner to clean your carpets and all. But if you don't have one, don't worry. You can just use a microfiber towel and wipe all the surfaces. Considering the condition of your car, you might want to consider a dust mask and some gloves. After you have cleaned your interior, the most important part is to maintain the freshness. For that you need air fresheners so there are many kinds of air fresheners in the market this one is a spray on ones you just spray on your interior pieces carpets and all so these are the ac vent ones you put these on ac vents and uh, lastly and my favorite ones are these uh, hanging ones personally i love this uh, little tree black eyes ones i have been using this on my accent so now let's go and get inside the car and start working so we'll work by steps so the first step is actually to take out all the loose stuff from your car like all the loose stuff like your charger wires, uh, any chip wrappers and all and also your foot mats. So we will begin by doing that. We must pay homage to him. everything from this boot I've taken that uh, hatch cover part off now I can get in here and totally clean up this boot because it's looking kind of disgusting there are oil stains a lot of dirt marks and all also over here it's looking quite gross so I'll be cleaning out this boot completely so now let's go to the next part which is the vacuum we'll begin by focusing on this mat first to move on to the door cars and also the dash pack. After we have cleaned uh, the front part, slide the seat forward and then you have to do the rear part. So make sure to vacuum your seats. So if there is any loose dirt, you can take it off. We are on our third part now. I have that Lysol all-purpose cleaner diluted in water. All I did was 3-4 sprays uh, in this container and rest 150-200 ml is water. Get a clean microfiber towel and then soak it in. Just wipe all the surface. Get another microfiber towel and 
enjoy everything else. We have to feed this in process. Oh, nice. And all our door panels. So everything is clean now. After you're done with the step, uh, your plastic should look like this. It shouldn't have any shine. That shine is uh, because of your oils from your skin and other dirt and grime that uh, accumulate over here. Plastic is supposed to look like this. So somewhat satin finish and it should look clean. So I am done with this entire car now. And also make sure to clean all the plastics like these, uh, these knobs. All the plastics uh, including all the seat adjustment levers you have to clean all the plastics and every vinyl and rubber that you can find on your car if you have rexine seats you have to wipe down your rexine seats uh, completely with this uh, all-purpose solution uh, you will be basically done with this uh, cleaning process now all you need to do is protect what you have cleaned but I have fabrics and uh, leather on my seats again I need to do another step but if you don't have leather and fabric on your seats like uh, on my accent then all I need to do is just protect what I have cleaned so for now as you can see it's pretty dark but uh, I need to continue working so now I'll be cleaning all the fabrics and leather ok now for the fabrics so for the fabrics, uh, I personally like using this STP tough stuff. So to clean the carpets and all, like I'll uh, show you with this uh, mark over here. What you want to do is get a moist towel, a dry towel and this can. First you have to shake it and then you have to spray the spot. Now you have to leave this area for around 30 seconds. Let the foam work. Now it has been around 30 seconds, so now we'll take our uh, moist towel and scrub it. Now with the dry towel. Now check it out, it's uh, almost gone. I have to do this uh, seat fabric because it's pretty dirty. So what I'm going to do is completely spray this with the foam and then scrub it. So check out the before and I hope the after is a bit more nicer so let's go check the seat out it's kind of looking uh, dark right now because um, it's wet so it's pretty damp uh, so when it dries it will look much more whiter uh, check the condition of my towel if you remember it was white now it literally looks brown check the condition of the towel all this dirt just came out from one seat for now let's do the other seat check it out guys the seat uh, I just cleaned the back seat now they also came out pretty clean and also I cleaned the headliner I'm very happy how the headliner came out so it's spotless right now so we have cleaned all the fabrics now now we need to clean all the leathers handbrake is leather steering is also leather wrapped so now let's begin by cleaning all the leathers. I am using this Zesta leather cleaner. Uh, I bought this from Amazon for pretty cheap. I'm giving this Indian brand a shot. So for uh, cleaning the leathers, I have to spray a small quantity on the foam pad and then scrub it on the leather and then uh, remove the excess by rubbing the microfiber towel. So let's begin. Check the difference out in this side bolster and this one. If you look closely, the grooves you see over here are clean and on this one it's looking pretty dry and rough. So I'll go ahead and clean all the leathers. So steering is supposed to be the most disgusting part of your interior. For cleaning the steering, what I like to do is uh, I'll spray some cleaner on the microfiber towel and then scrub it in and check this out the gunk uh, it collected with just few passes so you need to spend a lot of time on your steering it shouldn't be looking like this 
when you are done it should look like uh, this uh, matte and satin finish take the steering wheel out this is how leather is supposed to look not glossy the way it used to look like before it's all even and matte looking now and it took me I guess half an hour to do the steering so I've completed the entire interior and now we are on our second last step basically so we have cleaned everything all the plastic all the leather all the rubber all the regzine just leaving the fabric parts we have to uh, protect everything for that I use this Formula 1 protectant, it's safe for all the surfaces. We need to do this step because once we have cleaned all the gunk from uh, the surfaces, now it's exposed to the sun rays and UV light, so it can get faded quickly. I like uh, using this product because it's not very oily and you must have noticed with those uh, oily based uh, cleaners uh, or protectants that uh, they leave a layer of oil and dirt accumulates even faster on those. Uh, it protects uh, leaves a very uh, OEM shine to the plastic uh, we'll begin by doing all the dashboards first now basically we have to do the complete card with this all the door panel the door cards the leather seats and all the plastics the thing I wanted to make uh, clear about the steering wheel yes this is leather and yes you want this to be protected but uh, the thing is that if you oversaturate this then your hand will slip and it, uh, it can be dangerous so what you want to do is just get key spray on this and then you have to just lightly coat the entire surface this is how it should look now let's keep working and I'll do this door card now check out the interior guys Everything is done and uh, I just gave a quick little buff with a clean microfiber tile to the entire uh, interior, all the plastics, uh, all the leather and all. So everything is looking brand new, like almost brand new and check out how amazing everything is looking. Now we are on the last step. Clean all the windows need the, a window cleaner and again a clean microfiber tile I like doing this step uh, in the last because when I am applying uh, all the polishes and all uh, the window gets pretty dirty so uh, I keep it as a last step so let's uh, give the windows a quick little buff and then we'll be almost done Basically at this point we are done with everything. Last and I guess the optional uh, thing is left that is to install uh, any kind of air fresheners. And yeah also you have to wash your mats and get it in. Okay for the mats all I did was just gave them a wash with the car shampoo. Those uh, all weather mats. But if you have uh, like those carpet mats what you need to do is uh, get them machine wash. So let's go and <clears throat> get some fresheners and some few accessories that I have been waiting uh, to install uh, like uh, obviously a keychain I have still not installed a keychain yet and uh, off camera I installed something and it is this uh, keyhole cover and it, uh, it fills up that ugly looking gap and also there were scratches so it hit them and also this is a ra also this is radium so it glows in dark so this is a pretty cool thing that I installed off camera so now let's go inside 
so we are inside and so again here are the four types of fresheners that we can use i will be using uh, this uh, dual air freshener and it smells very nice it smells very nice so i'll be using this for my first then i'll change it with uh, this one both uh, both are supposed to last for like uh, one and a half and two months video and if you did make sure to leave a like if you have any doubts make sure to leave it uh, in the comments i will uh, try to answer each and every comment if you're not subscribed consider subscribing uh, there's a lot more uh, coming up about this build i'll see you in the next one till then stay savage